Welcome. I'm Professor Virginia Strain, and I'm the director of the Interdisciplinary Honors Program at Loyola University Chicago. This introduction is based on, <clears throat> excuse me, a PDF presentation that should be available to you as well. So as you see web links through these various pages, know that if you've got the PDF, you can link to those pages that way. You don't have to rely on the video. Again, welcome. Since 1936, Loyola University Chicago has sponsored an honors program for the university's most talented and motivated undergraduate students. As the highest academic distinction awarded by the university, the honors degree commands special acknowledgement. The IHP uh, student body, students, are admitted to the program based on their academic achievement. The increasingly diverse student body is drawn from across the university and the world. We strive to provide a welcome academic community for women, people of color, immigrants, and members of the LGBTQIA community. The curriculum is shaped around historical, cultural, and disciplinary diversity. And your honors courses will make up approximately one fourth of the courses that you take at the university. Freshman lecture courses on Western traditions are team taught to the entire incoming class of over 300 students in the fall and spring. As a community, we all gather in the Gavin Hall Auditorium. And then this huge group of 300 students breaks off into small discussion pods. And again, these courses are all taught by full-time faculty. Students then move through various area studies, including encountering Africa, encountering the Middle East, and encountering Latin America. My goal for the program is that by the academic year 2023, 2024, that we will be incorporating and featuring more study abroad opportunities within our area studies courses. These are small seminar style classes. One of the advantages of the honors courses is their small cap size. Uh, students have many opportunities to interact with each other and with professors. You'll finish your studies in the honors program with a capstone course called Moral Responsibility, which focuses on the principles of ethical reasoning in relation to contemporary problems. This course is meant to be, um, the capstone of course is meant to demonstrate the skills you've learned over your time in the program, but also your time at Loyola. The course in moral responsibility exemplifies the Jesuit tradition that, um, that links reflection and meditation to action in the world. Very importantly, there is a dedicated advising team within the office of first year and second year uh, experience who guide our IHP students through their degree requirements and who ensure that they achieve their academic goals. I have several slides here on the importance of interdisciplinarity and on the importance of the humanities. Uh, but what this comes down to is our contemporary understanding that STEM is important but it's not the entire picture. And that in order to be as productive, as um, reflective, as successful as possible, we also need the disciplines that teach creativity, curiosity, critical thinking, communication and collaboration skills, and care or empathy. Empathy is a term um, that is often that often evokes um, the emotions of love and affection for the close people in our lives. It's a touchy-feely word, if you want. But empathy in this context, in the context of what are employers looking for, 
or what do specialists need in terms of skills? Empathy in this context means understanding what it is your customer or your patient needs from you as a medical practitioner, as a technology uh, guru, if you want. We have a couple student testimonials here and Emily perfectly um, encapsulates the, the possibility of the interdisciplinary program. She's a biology and English major. She writes that honor students work together with professors in small stimulating classes. The greatest benefit of honors was and is the relationships you form with faculty and friends. And I'll go more into detail about the community in a moment. Beyond gaining new friends and expanding my knowledge, the honors program has exceeded my expectations. There really is no way to articulate the benefits of the honors program, except to say that you enter hoping to gain an intellectual experience, but you leave with so much more. Valmick writes, I am majoring in molecular biology with a minor in neuroscience. Students in the honors program take rigorous courses alongside one another fostering an environment for positive friendships. Connections are built upon a common mission towards success. In essence, you'll make friends for life. I also enjoy the relationships students build with professors. Honor students foster interpersonal connections amongst professors at a high level of quality, giving them a higher level of understanding. Stephanie Wong is a Reiki Scholar recipient and a number of um, IHP students have gone on to receive Reiki scholarships. Through this program, she had the opportunity to study at Loyola's Beijing Center, and she's recently published an article in the New York Times China about her experiences as, as an American of Chinese descent living and studying in China. And I've offered you um, the links here to her article, ABC at the Egg. Right. I love this example of Stephanie's success in the program because she's been awarded a scholarship that recognizes her academic ability and potential and effort. And she's also learned to link through the skills that she's learned in this program, her own identity um, with her um, studies and the, the external world. So as I said, the IHP offers a small, close-knit community in the heart of a major metropolis. If you're coming to Chicago because you're attracted by the big city, but you still want to have those intimate connections of a small community or a small liberal arts campus, that is what we offer. Freshmen reside together in the new Francis Hall residence and other nearby recently renovated um, halls. And this is a diagram of the new building. Not only are most of the freshman class housed here, but at the bottom level, there is classroom space and our administrative offices. So once we are back in person post pandemic, and it looks like that's going to be the fall of 2021, this building really will be the center of the IHP world. <coughs> Pardon me. In terms of that community, we are always trying to foster more programming for our students. We, this year we hosted our first student alum debate. The topic was the Electoral College uh, and you'll find that online and I'll, I'll ha have the link for that. We also hosted Interdisciplinary Conversations, a series of Zoom roundtables that brought together academics and other experts to discuss contemporary topics. This spring, in a few weeks from now, when I'm recording this, we'll be hosting an undergraduate conference. We're also working on alumni events that will bring former uh, students back to campus um, and um, interacting with current students. Every year we host a spring senior celebration and student awards ceremony. There's a sweatshirt design contest in the works. And um, that's a fundraising opportunity for the Honors Student Association. We're also developing more service activities. 
uh, and we also organized trips to Chicago's most famous cultural institutions like the Art Institute. We are, the IHP Student Association also is key to organizing tutors and mentors for our freshmen. This is a hello from the current Student Association Executive. Obviously taken when we were all in person. This year, to help freshmen, we pivoted our, on, uh, our community life online through something called the Honors Commons that met every Wednesday between six and seven. And we're open to ideas for expanding our social presence online, even as we go back to in-person um, engagements. Our web presence has been greatly extended this year. We've got all of the interdisciplinary conversations that focused on the, top, the pandemic and Kira Personalis, the neighborhood of Rogers Park, and immigration and the imagination. Those are all recorded and up online, as well as the debate I told you about. You'll find student testimonials, as well as an account of the program structure, and Dr. Claudio Katz, a political science professor, his introduction to the program, which is, uh, goes into great more detail about the curriculum. You can also, of course, find information about the curriculum on our website. Who or how do you get admission to the IHP? The IHP, as I said, admits academically high achieving students who demonstrate maturity, responsibility, and leadership. Highly qualified students who have been admitted to Loyola and who have demonstrated high marks in academic success in a rigorous course schedule are invited to apply to the Interdisciplinary Honors Program. You may be admitted in your first year and you may be admitted at the beginning of second semester of first year and you may be admitted in the first semester of your sophomore year. And the requirements differ because you have, by that point, um, a, a GPA on record at Loyola. Okay, so you need the completion of 15 credit hours and a minimum GPA of 3.67 for second semester freshmen, or the completion of 30 credit hours and the minimum of GPA of uh, 3.67 for first semester sophomores. So I hope that this presentation has given you a sense, a small sense of what's available, what kind of opportunities and what kind of community and what kind of curriculum that you'll find in the Interdisciplinary Honors Program. You can find our website right there. It's very easy, luc.edu at honors. Uh, and I hope to see you in the fall. <laughs>